the Speedy Services Doncaster Cup is next. This is just two and a quarter miles. It's a group two. And I think we're missing Looney Tunes on this. This week, I think we've probably gone to the pre Cadran over in France. That one anyway. Atop it's Charming Princess for David Hooley, Baltic October Graham Clutterbuck, Diamond Jubilee, Craig Beckwith, Famsong Lenore, David Robertson, King at Night, Leon Van Rensburg, Beam, Craig Beckwith, Daenerys Stormborn, Graham Clutterbuck, Darwin Star at Vinnie Gerard, Nine Lives, Joshua Sullivan, and so I told you, David Hooley. So ten in this then. He Doncaster Cup. And they're all installed, ready to go. And away they go. And who's going to be the first one to show Baltic October? Or Graham Clutterbuck is out well. So to his foul song, the Northern Grey for David Robertson and Nine Lives also for Joshua Sutherland. So, I'm quite sure how we'd manage to do it, but somehow I think we want to try and split the Doncaster and the long shot meetings up because having them the same week, it does mean that St. Ledger horses can't run in the arc and it does mean these Doncaster Cup horses can't run in the pre de Cadre. Whereas for the last few weeks, these top um, top long distance horses are having to run in listed races, giving away penalties. So it's difficult to get it all in, isn't it? Balanced, especially at this end of the season, because you've then got the champion meeting at Newmarket as well, which you've got to get in somewhere. So it's not easy, but uh, it's a shame that they don't get that many. Big races over two and a half, two and a quarter miles. A lot of listed and a lot of handicaps, but they've got two big ones the same week because it would have been interesting to see how that horse of Paul's got on over this trip. I'm just giving away a little bit of a penalty in a group two. Anyway, back to the race. It's Faust Hollander in the lead by five or six. I'm sure most of these are probably going, Why don't you shut up, Mr. Commentator? Because we've got more chance of winning it if he's not here. And uh, that's what it's all about, isn't it? So Faust Hollander's in the lead then. From Baltic October in second. And King at night. The nearest Stormborns after that one. Then Diamond Jubilee and Beam. And looking towards the back. Charming Princess is just the back marker. So Grace top and tail in the field for David Robertson in the lead. And David Hooley at the back. And I think it's probably fair to say those two. Probably the two most improved trainers of the season. If you put it as a dual code type thing. Because David Robertson is absolutely flying on the flat this season. I think he's had a better flat season than this. He's also still doing pretty well on the jumps, and David Hooley is doing it the opposite way around. He's doing really, really well on the jumps, and he's still doing quite well on the flat. Darren Thompson, who's not in this race, is also doing the same things. A real changing of the guard almost at the top of the flat championship. Which you can put Dan Hughes in there as well. Um, He's having a good season again, not in this race. Craig Beckwith is in it, and I think he's top on money, but I'm sorry, I can't have the championship decided on money because it's, it's just ridiculous because you've got horses that win millions of pounds for winning one race and well, horses that get 200,000 for winning it. And uh, the, the bizarre thing about that as well is I've got one that has put me about seventh or sixth or something on the money list because he's won two million pound in prize money and it's never won a race. It just keeps coming second in big dirt races. So Faust on the Lord continues to lead. Nothing against Craig Beckwith. It's a nice thing to have two champions anyway. He can be the champion on money. But I really don't think he can be the champion trainer because he's only had 11 winners or something. So it's... Uh, not money for me, I'm afraid. Anyway, Faust on Lenore in front. Baltic October 2nd. The nearest Stormborn back in 3rd. Then King at Night is 4th. Then comes Nine Lives after that one. And then Darwin Starlet. Charming Princess is next. Then So I Told You in Diamond Jubilee. But Faust on Lenore continues to lead. The Clutterbuck pair coming. So too is King at Night. And it's Faust on Lenore who's holding on in the lead. And leads by about a length. And there's still three furlongs to go. Faust on Lenore in front. The nearest Stormborn is 2nd. King at Night is 3rd. Gap back to Baltic October in 4th. So I Told You is still starting to run on, then comes Nine Lives Charming Princess after that, but Faust on Lenore is still in front past the two, and he's still too clear, of King at Nine, Daenerys Stormburn, Baltic October back in fourth, but surely between this front three, then Faust on Lenore in the lead, here comes King at Nine, Daenerys Stormburn on the outside, Faust on Lenore is beginning to hit the wall, they're inside the final furlong now, and Faust on Lenore has been passed by King at Nine, King at Nine's in the lead, here comes Daenerys Stormborn with one last lunge, but King at Nine, Daenerys Stormborn now gets up on the near side, Daenerys Stormborn is going to take in the nearest storm boards and Doncaster Cup King at night second first on the north so I told you Baltic October then nine lives all the way back to Bean and Graham Clutterbuck takes the group two stairs race he likes his stairs races and he's probably pretty pleased that Paul Rove stayed away 
as Daenerys Stormborn takes the Doncaster Cup for Graham Clutterbuck. King at night second for Leon Van Resburg. Thousand on the Lord, David Robertson third. So I told you, David Hooley fourth and Baltic October for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.